Hello everyone, welcome you all in our YouTube channel Learning Radiology. We can start up today's topic. Today's topic is X-ray circuit. So today we will discuss about X-ray topic, X-ray circuit. What is circuit? Circuit is a closed path for current. It is a path or it is a way to delay, to pass or uh, flow a current in a in this path it's known as circuit uh, here is the image we show about uh, x-ray circuit uh, like uh, this is a x auto transformer and this is exposure timer timer and high voltage transformer this is, this is a primary and secondary circuit and a bridge rectifier there we connect our x-ray tube then about primary and secondary circuit what is primary circuit the primary circuit is a part of X-ray circuit which is connected between the electrical source and the primary coil of the X-ray transformer and also called as a low voltage circuit. So let's know about secondary circuit. Uh, it is a coil, it is a secondary coil of the transformer and all devices to which it is connected electrically is secondary circuit. So it is also called as high voltage circuit. In Next, talk about trans auto transformer. So, auto transformer connects the X-ray generator with with voltage supply to the X-ray room, and it consists of single winding wound on the laminated closed core. And auto transformer works on the principle of self induction. Its function as both step up and step down transformer. Here is an image of an auto transformer where a line and line compensation connect with the auto transformer and here a major cavity selector and major minor cavity selector which connect through a timer circuit to a high voltage transformer primary and the ML regulator connect a filament transformer primary the function of auto transformer auto transformer provide voltage voltage of the extra tube filament circuit it provides voltage primary winding of the high voltage circuit. So it's suitable for voltage for subsidiary circuit and it provides a convenient location for the KVP meter that indicates the voltage to be applied across the X-ray tube. Filament circuit. Filament circuit uh, regulate current flow through the filament of the X-ray tube and the filament is coiled tungsten wire that emits electron with it is heated by this current flows on thermal emission. Uh, it not much power is needed to heat filament at to the necessary high temperature. A current flow of, of 3 to 5 ampere with an applied voltage of about 10 volt are typical values. Here is the image we show the filament circuit. Then the power to heat the extra tube filament is provided by a small step down transformer called filament transformer and the filament is connected directly to the secondary winding of this transformer next one the primary winding of the filament transformer which obtain voltage by tapping off an appropriate number of turns from the auto transformer a voltage around 100 to 220 volt across the primary winding primary winding and to reduce the desired 10 voltage Ranges. The step down transformer in the filament circuit has approximately 10 to 20 times as many turns of wire in the primary coil as in the secondary coil. And the secondary winding of the filament transformer has only a very small voltage across it and it is connected to the filament of the extra tube. The extra tube has very voltage high, very voltage across it. And to provide a high voltage insulation will be secondary and primary winding of the filament transformer. Then talk about high voltage circuit it supplies high voltage to the x-ray tube and the circuit has two transformer auto transformer and step up transformer auto transformer is actually the kvp selector and it is located in the control panel and the voltage and the voltage across the primary coil of the step up transformer can be varied by selecting appropriate number of the turns in the auto transformer and the step up transformer which, which sometimes is called high voltage transformer and the function of high voltage transformer it is to provide the high voltage which needed for the production of the x-rays in the x-ray tube.
and the filament circuit consists of a transformer and an emitter which gives an indication of filament current filament rheostat which controls the ms selector then talk about filament emitter in in filament emitter it is to measure the filament current and hence the heat developed in the filament and emitter is connected in series in the filament circuit this is seen in an old x-ray unit and in case of modern x-ray unit or modern radiographic unit we use a space charge compensator which automatically adjusts the filament current to maintain a constant ma over a wide range of kbp insulation insulation is very necessary to provide high voltage insul insulation between primary and secondary wiring and the filament transformer is placed in the oil filled grounded metal tank as a high voltage transformer and oil function both to insulate and to cool the transformer now we'll talk about kbp meter it can be placed in the circuit between auto transformer and step up transformer it measures the voltage from auto transformer that will be supplied to the primary winding of the step up transformer when exposure begins this kbp meter also called as a pre reading kilo volt meter or voltage measure before x-ray exposure begins now talk about ma meter ma meter in secondary coil of the high voltage transformer it across voltage across the secondary coil is up to 150 kbp it means plus 70 kbp on one side and minus 70 kbp on other side of the coil center of the coil has zero potential if the meter is connected to this point it may be placed to control panel without risk to the operator exposure timer exposure timer is control the length of x-ray exposure there are four basic type of exposure timer mechanical electronic photo timer and pulse counting timer rectification rectification is a process which changing ac ac into dc or you can say that alternating current into direct current Types are two: half wave rectification and full wave rectification. And the rectifier is a device which allows an electrical current to flow in one direction, but does not allow other current flow in another direction. High tension cable. It conducts the high voltage current from rectifier to the X-ray tube, and the X-ray tube are separated assemblies and connected by shock proof high tension cable. In case of Design in case of high tension generator. Modern equipment uses a single cable with three conductor, one for anode, other for other two for the filament and dual filament tubes. Here is image of a X-ray generator and uh, X-ray tube, and how can say that the whole circuit, X-ray circuit, are explained in this image. Type trimmer resistance. The trimmer resistance is a variable resistor. Which is used to alter the value of all MA reading. If all RNA value are less than they should be, as occur as instance when the filament wears thin due to age and consequently has increased resistance. And the trimmer resistance can be reduced by storing all MA to the original value. Thank you. Like video. Comment on the video. Subscribe the channel. Yeah, thank you.